Hey, what's going on, everyone? I am the OP Jellicent, and I have week number 11 of the IBA. Going up against Aaron, 24-20, coach of the, I believe he's Calgary Infernates in this league. Uh, yeah, that sounds right. Uh, he, I believe he was like Minnesota Minions or something in a lot of his other leagues, but uh, he is the Calgary Infernates, and uh, this is week number 11. If you guys missed the last match, we actually ended up securing our playoff spot with a 3-0 win over Malicious Mewtwo, which is great. And uh, yeah, so now we can pretty much uh, meme. I'm, I'm not trying to meme. I really want to go seven and five or eight and four because that record obviously sounds a lot better than six and six. And the higher seed means we uh, can potentially determine an easier playoff opponent. Uh, but everyone who's in playoffs is going to be really good anyway. So uh, that'll definitely be interesting. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. This are, these are actually being recorded before the release of the games, but this should be up on Saturday, which is uh, a day after the games are released. So uh, that'll be interesting i'm probably enjoying it by now but um i don't know yet but we either way let's go ahead and get it to the matchup we have uh just webs right here with our uh levani calm mind rear nicholas uh if we were calm mind um, acid armor or calm mind iron defense we probably just would have six out him but uh, we're only calm mind so uh that's kind of sucks but calm mind can still completely wreck his team i believe our coverage is psychic shadow ball which uh, pretty much covers everything. Scarf Staraptor, which I bring like 9 out of the 10 times. Uh, just standard Mega Deontay with uh, Moonblast, Earth Power, Power Jam kind of thing. Scarf Mian Show, and I believe this was Lefty's sub Kiram Black, so uh, that'll be fun. But anyway, I end up leading off with my uh, Lee Vanny right here and just throw up the webs right away. Uh, which is really great, and I can uh, save my Focus Sash right here and go into my Reuniclus, and uh, I just start setting up right away. Like I said, if I was Combined Iron Defense, uh, this sort of game probably would have been over right here, but I can recover up uh, some uh, da damage right here and just throw off the Focus Blast, uh, break through that Chapel Berry, which I don't have to worry about anymore. And uh, I'm just going to preface, this. this was a really weird match. I ended up, uh, He ended up getting a ton of hazards up against me, so I was really banking on this Reuniclus to do a ton of work as uh, you guys are going to see Gyro Ball is doing absolutely nothing and I believe that's what he just throws off for the next few turns right here but um, I'm just going to recover that off and continue setting up if I was Iron Defense this would be great because Physical Arcanine wouldn't be a threat Physical Halucha couldn't break me after and we would completely blow back um, any Roar or Dragon Tail mods since those do have negative priority those being uh, Roar on Arcanine and Dragon Tail on the Dragon, but. Uh, we can go right for the Focus Blast here, unfortunately miss, but it doesn't really matter because I can just recover up this turn and then Focus Blast him right after that. He's going for Knock Off now, which is smart because uh, obviously we take more from that, but I can just recover it off and I just have to throw off two Psychics here instead of messing with the Focus Blast because I don't want to lose all my Focus Blasts, but I actually had Psychic Focus Blast instead of Psychic Shadow Ball for whatever reason. Uh, that would have been worked a lot better, but... Uh, like I said right here, we don't have Iron Defense or uh, Acid Armor, so that's going to put us in range of pretty much anything. Just have to use the Halucha to do the job, and that's going to... This this set me back really far, because I with all these hazards up, I really have uh, to make some good plays in this match. And he's going to bring out his uh, Dreadagon right here, which shoots up that Brave Bird. That was Scarf, so it's obviously not going to be a 2 at KO. And we take a Recoil, a Rocky Helmet, and a Rough Skin right there. We do fortunately live the Sucker Punch, though, so we can bring him down pretty low. And then just, just to revenge kill him with our Mian Shao right here. I believe we go for the uh, Swords Dance actually because he's under webs, so uh, we could have potentially sweeped, but he's actually going to go right here for the Glare, which sucks because uh, you know, Tapu Lele can outspeed me, Halucha can outspeed me, but, and we're in range of pretty much anything right here. Tapu Lele is going to come out, I, and I believe he outsped me under this. Yeah, I did. Despite the webs, he's going to outspeed me right there. And I have to bring in my Kiram right here, which is still a sock. If you guys missed a latch match, we were having that same issue, but uh, that's fine. I can go right for the Iron Head and uh, bring him low. And thanks to our... I believe that was actually a Salt Vest Kiram, not leftover substitute. Uh, 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 it's been a while since I've watched through this match, but he's going to 2-hit KO me with the Psychic. But thankfully, we do get that Iron Head off, so I can bring in my Deontay right here. Take a ton from Hazards, which is kind of annoying. And uh, go right here for the Moon Blast, which is great. But at this point... Uh, we're a Mega Medic. We're not a Mega Medic, girls. What? Uh, I go right here for the Protect, trying to bait the high jump kick, but he actually just throws off the Iron Head, which is going to secure the game in his favor because uh, he can't miss high jump kick, obviously, because he has carries the Iron Head. And Acrobatics will easily two hit KO my or, or Oko my Levani right here. And that's going to be an unfortunate 2-0 loss to Aaron 24-20. Like I said, it was a weird match because I was banking on Reuniclus to win, but uh, he ended up getting all these hazards, which really set me back after the Reuniclus went down. But no, I really hope Showdown fixes their sprite issues, because this is not a Mega Metagross, and 
I believe some other Megas were having trouble. I believe Mega Altaria is turning into Mega Titar right now, but uh, that's besides the point. So we dropped to 6 and 5, which is not the end of the world because we already have our playoff spot secured. But I really want to win the next match and go uh, 7 and 5 because that sounds a lot better than 6 and 6 since it would be a positive record. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Once again, I hope you guys are looking forward, I mean, enjoying Sun and Moon. And be sure to check out Aaron down in the description below if you haven't already to ch uh, check out his side of the battle. And I will see you guys for week 12. Later.